Hello all you half pints out there and welcome to another Stone Hearth gameplay video. Got a lot of small boulders and stuff over here to loot. Prickly pears. Last episode we killed off a uh, pretty pretty close, pretty nearby gnome thingy. It was over here in this area. Uh yeah, you want let's actually let's take the logs too, because to be honest with you, what is a little bit hard to come by over here in the desert? Who would have thought? I don't know. It's it's a surprise to me as well. I said this But anyway, <clears throat> nighttime is fast approaching. We probably have people that are kind of lollygagging right now. Uh, quest for a township. We should work on that today. People idling. They're restocking items and stuff like that. Okay. Alright. I'm okay with that. Why don't we go ahead and first make sure that we have... Uh, we should build more buildings, I think. I think we should actually build more buildings. Why don't we, why don't we build a... Uh, why don't we do another house. We'll do a... Another clay dormitory, maybe? That's the most efficient thing. We probably need more clay bricks, though. First thing we should probably be doing... What we should probably always be doing... Is more digging. <laughs> Now, I don't think that there can be collapsing. I hope there can't be collapsing. I'm certainly digging a lot. I'm certainly digging without much in terms of support. <laughs> There's not much supporting this. All right, so Farmer Gem Supply Cart rolled into town. I definitely want to check that out. Uh, we do, we don't need any of this stuff. Maybe we can sell some stuff. If we have anything to sell. I have some pelts that I really don't think I need right now at this point. Uh, so they'll sell pretty well. We got some wood, but we don't want to sell that. We don't want to sell our silver and stuff because we do eventually want to use it. We have some cobblestone fence and gates, but I might want to make something out of that. Bandage, which doesn't sell for that much. Ah, energy tonic does sell, and sell pretty well. It's interesting to me. Might be something that I should keep in mind. Uh, we could definitely do a little bit of selling for that. Uh, what, what was another thing? I think there was another thing that I wanted to maybe try building with the potter. Now, the potter probably has stuff to do. The potter definitely has stuff to do. And should continue working on the stuff that they have to do. But after that... Ooh, some of the stuff looks really cool. After that, I wonder if maybe you could build us a clay market stall. We're just gonna visit the stall to buy and sell goods. Why don't we, what, what, crafting requirements unmet. I think the only thing that's, uh, that's unmet is the amount of material I have. So I definitely wanna have that as something we work to pretty, pretty soon. We'll continue to mine actually. I think mining is a little bit more important than maybe I've been giving credit to recently. And uh, so we'll continue to make sure that we mine that stuff. Okay, there's more areas over there to mine. So they have enough. They have enough to do. They have enough to keep them busy for a couple couple days. Oh, let's also have them actually harvest, though, the herbs. Because I do want to get my herbologist to continue to kind of expand their knowledge of the craft, if possible. So why don't we craft another one of those? We do have this maintaining, bandages maintaining. We don't need a cleric's tome at this time. We don't even have what it needs, actually, anyway. Um, so we're okay there. The mason. The mason, we were able to get them to build the weapon last time. I remember that much. I do remember that much quite quite uh, succinctly. Succinctly. And we have some small stone bazaars. Hmm, let's build one of these. Ah, I can't build it yet. That's okay. Do we build a blacksmith's hammer then? Not yet. Not yet. We have a trapper already. I think trapper we turn into a cook. And it might be time for a cook soon. I think we're going to prepare that. I think we're going to prepare that and uh, get ready for, uh, for that to be the case. Stone pile... I think for uh, for stone buildings, which we can do some stone buildings, and we may want to in time as we collect more and more stone. 
uh, we could we could switch over to stone buildings at least for a period of time, if not for a longer period of time, uh, just to kind of lighten the load in terms of how much we need from uh, to be digging in terms of clay. Now we have a, quite a few areas we can collect food from, and we do have a farmer that should be growing, and we should be eating that food as well. I think the cook is going to be more important than maybe I give credit for at this point. How many beds do we have? Well, once these beds are put down, we'll have enough beds for everybody. That's what it sounds like. So I go to this, assign a bed. Probably the second to last. Yeah. You have another bed coming for me? Do you have another bed? Ah, oh, we do. Let's also, let's assign this bed though to him. There you go, everybody has an assigned bed now, which is good. It'll mean that our morale will stay high. Now we're kind of expanding in a weird way and I really didn't put much thought process into our town expansion. Ah, uh, that's probably okay. Let's check out the daily update. Food is not okay, but it would be anytime we want food to be uh, okay, it'll be okay. So I think we're gonna hold off, perhaps for one more day, before we actually make uh, the amount of what we need. Yeah. Hmm. I'm trying to think right now. Because in in what I've kind of been experiencing. Like this wasn't efficient. The dormitories are a lot more efficient, but perhaps these are more comfortable. But they were expensive. I can build my own less expensive with two beds. That's true. I think it might be time to start looking into getting the <sighs> cook first. Alright, so here's what we're going to do. I want more workers. I want more people that are just workers. Cook is next, but we need to recruit before we do cook. And we have to build another uh, dormitory, probably, or a smaller stone bed. I think we'll have to do one of those two things before we actually go into the part where uh, we're building more. Huh. I don't want to do this then. You guys are digging. All right, good. We're gonna do a little bit more clay stuff first. We're gonna get a little bit more clay stuff set, ready to go. Actually, we've hit the rock area in here. So anytime we need more rock from them, we get more rock too. Okay, well, yeah, we don't have to go over there yet. It's almost actually shorter to go over there though. We would have to probably clear out the wolves first. Oh, oh, I thought it was making a run for us. I thought it was making a run for us. So, you know what I, what I want to do right now? I want to make sure that we collect all this food. What was that? What was that noise? To be honest, I'm not quite sure. I want to make sure we collect all this food to ensure that we have enough to uh, get a new member of our society for the next next day, so that's gonna be uh, that's gonna be resource number one that we're looking at for this particular day. This will ensure again a lot of the stuff is gonna go unused, but um, we're gonna be transforming or uh, promoting somebody to a cook, which means we won't have a trapper. I want a trapper. Skins sell for a little bit of gold, and the extra money is pretty cool. It also allows us to have a differentiating level of uh, food, which is good. So, running fresh food from field to table has increased the farmer's foot speed. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I don't think we're going to need, at this point, another farmer. I think we're probably okay. Edibles, we want 190 before bed. want 190. Is it worth it to actually build a stone fence and stuff? I think that's more or less for when we have animals. Which I want to get to. What's that path? How can I get to that one? 
Change job should show me. All right, so farmer to cook. So that's actually that's actually not okay yet. I need to have a level two farmer first. So I have to wait anyway until the farming gets done. What was trapper then? Trapper goes to shepherd. Shepherd's crook. Crafted by the carpenter. I don't know how I get a carpenter. I might need the mason for that. So I can't go into shepherding before I have a blacksmith, I mean. Why would no? A woodsmith? Carpenter? Uh, requires wooden for build wooden for requires a carpenter. Where do I get a carpenter from though? What would build me a carpenter? The mason might. No, the potter could. I don't know. I don't know, actually. I don't know how I uh, craft a carpenter's saw. Interesting. Okay. Let's see if we can get you guys doing anything else. Yeah, let's craft another one. Craft another one of those. We can't get bigger bandages yet. We need thread form, too. Uh, Mason's not doing anything right now. He's got quite a bit of stuff. Ooh, stone garden lantern. I bet this one is worth the most amount of money. And I will make sure you make five of those. I'm just trying to level up the mason right now to see what else maybe he unlocks and stuff like that. Invaders are approaching. We fight and we defend. I'm not really worried about them, actually. As soon as this guy comes over there to fight him, I'll release them. Let them go along their way. This guy will be fine. He'll be just fine beating these guys up. And we get a little more extra wood, so... Huh. I thought he would do more damage, honestly. I thought he would do a little bit more damage than what he does with that mallet, but I mean, heck, it's something. Hey, cool. Footman level three, what does that mean for you? Power strike, this powerful overhead swing deals double damage. Nice, nice, I like that. Stonewall was plus 10, okay. Cool, so his health, his morale, and his experience the next one. I didn't know I could see experience. Job abilities. Oh, wow. Oh, I didn't even know about this sheet. This is awesome. From an protected at optimizing the effect of, or practice optimizing the effect of each blow. Slashing strike. The deal, deals damage in an arc, basically. Maximum damage. Wow. Cool. Journal, eating something different. Ah, right. So they're, they're happy. He's not as happy about uh, about shelter, though. Backpack. They can carry stuff in the backpack. Can I see this on everybody? Uh, show workshop. I wanted the character sheet. Oh, cool. I learned something new. So he has attack from that, and it does. It shows experience and everything. Okay, well, let's first look at the caravan, though, and get some stuff going for this. Is there anything here that I need? A weaver's spindle. I have the gold to buy it. Plus one defense, not worth it. Don't need cooking ingredients right now. I have the gold to up and buy that one. And who knows what it might bring us. We're going to sell two of those. We'll keep the jerky. We'll sell these guys. Oh, I have to place that down in the market stall. Everything else I think I want to keep at this particular point. So we'll keep them. But we made a lot of money right there. I don't want to... Do I need to buy anything out of the resources? Uh, okay, first of all, let's get into fight and defend mode. 
So I'm Goblin over here, I'm not that worried about. But uh, we will buy this Weaver Spindle right there. So we'll do that. Oh, look at that strike though. That was awesome. That was pretty cool. What are you guys doing? Why are you all fighting him? Y'all didn't have to do that. Cool. No, you guys are good. You're free. You're free to go. Maybe they're getting like bolder. They're getting bold. That's a good thing. They'll stand up for themselves. They'll fight more. They'll know what it's like to look in death's face and laugh. So we're looking okay. Weaver spindle we have. We have a cook spoon. We got some ores and stuff. Oh, they have their own. Uh, they have their own chairs and housing stuff. Cool. Farmer's hard at work. That's good. Oh, I didn't check our... Actually, I should be checking this. We have enough food? We have enough food to get a to get a new person tomorrow. That's good. That's what we were looking for. It means, though, that we'll have to build another house of sorts. I might build one here. Let's start this right now, actually. Let's build and design custom. So here you can kind of start with everything. Start with the foundation. We'll do a blue, Bahama blue. Make it about yay big. Okay. You have to do walls. Let's do brick walls. Mix it up a little bit. Alright. We're gonna have a... A green clay door. Hello? Uh, right there is good. And then we wanna do... We don't need a second floor. We're just gonna put a roof on it. <laughs> it's gonna be a small little guy. Let's do a uh, let's do a stone roof. A red stone roof. Eh, I don't need any overhang. I don't really care about the sc the slopes either, honestly. That looks good. Yeah, that looks all right. Ah, we're gonna need some windows though. Let's put ourselves this tall clay window right there. This blue clay window right there. And then uh one there. One there. And uh one there and one there. That's good enough for me. Yeah, that's pretty cute. Finish editing. Build it! Yeah, start building. It's cute. I like it. It's a little bit long, perhaps. But uh, I'll put a couple houses in there, a couple beds in there, and stuff like that. I think I can make pretty efficient use of the space without making it uh, too ugly looking. So we're going to have the daily update pretty soon. In the meantime, they're going to start building, which is A-OK -okay with me. We have got a little bit of rotten food, but I'm going to leave it here for the start of the day in case it counts for us for the edibles. But we have to, that's why I want the cook though, to help us with the rotten food problem. Daily update food, morale, net worth. Yep, we'll take a new settler. Awesome, thank you. Thank you. Good stuff. Now, I'm not going to worry about another settler for a little while. So as these guys build. Oh, I like that. I like that. Let's uh, real quick clean up here. All the junk food that our guys 
won't eat at this point. I don't think they throw it out either on their own. I wish they would. If they throw it out or feed it to somebody. Like we had like pigs. Like feed it to pigs or something. There's also some people that are sitting idly by. We're going to start harvesting some stone now I think because uh, I think our clay days, our clay day heydays are nearing an end because we can use stone for a lot of things that we could only use clay for previously. I think the stone kind of looks better anyway. So uh, that's probably the process that we're going to be going towards in the future. In the meantime, you know, you got to do what you got to do. And for me, that's going to be a wrapping this video up pretty soon. Eh, what time is it? I can go another four minutes. All right, it's truth time, guys. It's truth time. I'll tell you a truth, and then you tell me a truth. You ready? My truth for you is I'm really enjoying this game. This game is pretty awesome, and I want that squirrel to jump in there. But no, uh, that's a little bit of a silly truth. My truth is that uh, my life's been looking up, and I'm happy and excited by the possibilities a bar of pure silver pick that up by the possibilities of my future i am i am good bad ugly i've realized that there's going to be a lot of uh, differentiating different things going to be happening to me over the course of uh, the rest of my life but uh i'm i'm young you're young all of us are young even if you're not young you're still young and i think at this point it's kind of it's kind of time for us to sit here and say you know what yeah we play video games might be a little nerdy might be a little weird at times, but we're awesome people, and we're happy people. And even through the bad times, we're going to get through. So here's what I want to say to you guys. If any of you right now, today, are having a bad day, all right, if you're just, if you're down, if you're kind of in the dumps, and it's been rough for you, I want you to remember something. I want you to remember that life isn't isn't always sunshine and happiness. In fact, for some people, it's almost never sunshine and happiness. But the important thing isn't that everything goes right. The important thing is that you make the best out of everything that goes wrong. It's one of the things, one of the lessons I've been learning uh, again, and I've learned it several times, and each time it gets a little bit further ingrained in my head over the last couple months. For those of you who may not know, I had a, a kind of a brutal breakup that put me down uh, deeper than I've been in a, in a, in a while, and uh, it's it was it's been hard for me to kind of get back up on my feet. But I'm starting to kind of see it now that it's not it's not really about what you missed out on or what you didn't do. It's about all the things that you you made the best out of anyway. So, for example, the other night, uh, I was feeling kind of down on myself and kind of crappy about where I was, and and I looked at my phone, and I went on Facebook, which is not always the, ne the best place to be, honestly, when you're feeling down, and I started looking at some old, some old uh, pictures on my Facebook page from when I was younger, and it's, it started to occur to me that... Uh, I had some really awesome times as a kid. I had some really great moments. I had some fantastic, fantastic friends. I still have some fantastic friends. I had fantastic vacations. I, uh, I had great family, I have great family. And maybe, maybe the fact that I obsess so much over some of the smaller things in life, like what I'm doing on a Friday night, or if I'm dating somebody. Those things don't really matter. And even if you don't have those things that I had, because I know I'm lucky, I know I'm blessed, I know that I've, I've been privileged beyond a belief to have what, what I've had. Even if you don't, it's important to look at the bright stuff. And it's important to know that uh, when I'm feeling down, I had there were a lot of days in my life that I've been really, really happy. There have been a few days I've been really, really sad. But I'm pretty sure. Uh oh. Uh oh. Wolves. Watch the wolves. Watch them fight the wolves off. Where's my footman? Where is he? He got one of them. 
How tough are they? Not very. But morale's gonna go down after this, I think. It's the first wolf pack we've been attacked by. But they're not very strong. Okay. I'm not too worried about them. You guys are good. Good to go. But it's just kind of, it's important to keep in mind. Nope, sorry. It's important to keep in mind that uh, good times are, are just around the corner. And it may not seem like that. It may, it may seem the exact opposite of that. But I honestly and truly believe that each and every one of you are pretty cool people. And will continue to grow and expand and become better people and have happier times. You're young. You're young and you've got the rest of your life ahead of you. And when people say that, don't laugh at them. It's true. There are so many things that I know I'm going to be able to do with the rest of my life. And, and I honestly think that some of the best times are yet to come. And I hope, I hope someone will be with you guys. All right, guys. Real quick, we're going to go ahead and take care of this trader here. Two mason chisels. Three sunflower. Uh... No, don't really feel like that benefits me much. And our trapper leveled up. If I could find our trapper, I want to check that out too before we go today. Is that him? Yes, it is. Character sheet, please. So, yep, he just leveled up. Morale is decent. Job abilities. What did level 5 give you? This gave you more efficient at packing and loot. If I have better traps. Cool. These special trapping zones to deter acquisitive neighbors. I think that's for, uh, I think that's not implemented, it said. But I'm pretty sure that's probably for, um, uh, to keep the animals at bay, keep the wolves away. You know, he's so fast though, his speed's really high. Well, cool. A goblin. Wow. All right, well, after this, we'll go. Where's the goblin at? Several goblins, it looks like. Armed, yes. And uh, this might be a little bit of a battle for our trapper here. Alright, so one of them is just going right for the loot. He might be stopped, though. I think he will be stopped, actually, after he grabs it, perhaps. Uh, let's also... Let's also queue up our... Our herbologist. Make sure there's a couple extra ones of these available. Just in general. And what can I build another one of these? Build another one of those. I want to make sure that he doesn't have a problem ever with uh, with his health. We might have to start thinking about getting another foot soldier, to be honest with you. This guy's taking quite a bit of damage here. Also, I hope we eat more food soon. I think we're building more food than we could possibly eat. All right, well, there you go. We're set there. Raccoon jerky, you can loot that. Whoever can loot that is fine. And uh, let's go ahead and remove that. It's also rotten. Looks like it over there, the silver ingot, so cool. And did the guy over here drop anything? Ten ore? We'll loot that too. All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like, comment, subscribe, other girls, and fun stuff. You know I really do appreciate it. And don't forget that in the in the corners down below here, you might see some videos. Uh, there'll be videos to previous and next videos in the series, so go ahead and check those out if you've been enjoying this. Most importantly, as always, though, peace out.